Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Mark. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and the look using the Morphe Glisten Up collection. This is like the Pride collection this year. So pretty, thank you so much to Morphe for sending this over through PR. So this is a really cool collection you guys, obviously it's Pride Month, so donation of 100% of net proceeds from the collection, a minimum of $50,000 will be made to glisten.org. Uh, from sales from this collection purchased only on morphe.com or morphe stores donation bases and amounts will vary when purchased from other retailers so this is really really cool that they're obviously doing this so it is a four-part collection I have three of them to show you guys I have got the continuous setting mist which is amazing and this is I think this is like scented differently from the normal one and then the eyeshadow palette this is the artistry palette comes with 10 shades so if you open that up so it's like kind of this holographic rainbow packaging which is super cool and obviously Morphe is really really kind of you know um, affordable in that way and we've also got the Morphe a better world spelled world like world <laughs> six piece brush collection so let's get started the makeup bag is really really cool as well it's like that you know holographic Louis Vuitton kind of vibe so you get six eye brushes, Morphe brushes are amazing and they've got the rainbow handle as well which is super cute. So let's have a look at the eyeshadow palette, um, so it's got a mirror, the below five colours are like this rainbow eyeshadows, they're all kind of metallic-y shades and then you've got five glitter shades which is so fun, let's see how these actually work on the eyes, let's see what the spray is saying. Mmm, it smells fresh. I don't know what the smell is, but it smells fresh, like cake. I'm gonna use my P. Louise base as usual. Obviously, last video I was talking about all about like cross-dressing and everything and being queer and dating in that way. I'm using the, what, what brush is this? Actually, the brushes don't have names on these. Usually they do have names, but this one is like a concealer. Um, flat brush. I can't create a full look just using these shades to be honest just because they're all shimmers so I am gonna go ahead with my Bobbi Brown bronzer and just like apply that into the crease. You can't beat Morphe brushes honestly like I reckon they're just amazing. <laughs> they're just so amazing not just for the price as well I just think they're really really good quality you know you can't you can't beat affordability and quality period. I'm gonna go into my ship correct eyeshadow palette from Barry M and I'm gonna use this dark brown color. I just need a little bit of depth before I go in with any of the colors from the actual Morphe palette. I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. I'm gonna go back again with my P. Louise base and cut the crease. So we've got like a, um, like a long shader brush here so I'm gonna use that to pack on some color. I'm gonna go on with Shine, Shine Hope, yeah. I'm gonna go in with Shine Ho, this yellow color, and just pack that onto the inner. They're kind of coming up like a, a pigment, more so than an eyeshadow, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna use Inspire Change, the blue color, and again, this is kind of like that soft, soft metallic, and I'm just applying that all over the lid. I actually haven't applied makeup in quite a while, you guys. I think the last time that I applied makeup on my face, like a full face, was my last video. So, um, I'm excited to do this look for you guys. Right, okay, this is the real test now. I'm just gonna clean off my brush and go on with Be A Visionary, which is this like glitter purpley blue with like blue glitter specks. Now let's actually see if these are glitter shadows or glitter toppers. Let's see what's the deal. I'm always a little bit hesitant with these kind of shades. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, do you know what? It's actually going on quite nicely. Obviously it's like gritty, but it's applying onto the eye with no trouble at all. Okay, I'm actually really shocked. I'm actually really shocked. In the best way possible. I'm gonna go in with Accept Everyone. That's such a nice name. These names are so, so like fitting. I just love it, it's cute. I'm just applying Accept Everyone on the outer corner. Kind of just like a purple shift. You know with glitters, obviously it is 
gonna be a, a, a harder formula to kind of perfect but this formula is actually really good okay so I'm just gonna apply some eyelashes and then I'm gonna come back just as a little side note you guys down below I'm going to be leaving a link to my PayPal me so you can tip me for the work that I've done on this video so if you want to tip me it's there you don't have to but it's there for you guys if you do so I'm gonna go ahead again with accept everyone which is the purpley shade and just apply that onto the outer corner. This could be a little bit more pigmented to be fair. Keep it kind. So these are very soft eyeshadows so it might crumble up a little bit. And this one is probably the least pigmented of the ones that I've tried so far. It's not coming up like how bright I see it in the pan. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna go in with Blaze A Trail, which is the pastel orange. And that's gonna go right ahead in the inner corner. This one, stop. This is so pretty. I, I think this is really good. If we had pride parades this year, obviously we can't. With everything that's going on, we have to keep safe. But this would have been good for like festivals or like pride where you could just like grab the colors, use them, put some glitter on your face. That I think that's the whole idea of this palette, which I'm into. I'm just gonna go ahead with my next Jumbo Pencil in Milk in the waterline, add a bit of mascara, before I go in with my lips I'm gonna go ahead with my continuous setting mist again just to settle everything down a little bit I'm looking a bit powdery after the powder okay for gloss you guys I'm just gonna be using my be at one lip gloss in pink brush because we do have a lot of bright colors and the eyes let's just kind of keep it like nudie pink you know what I mean the collection does come with a gloss it looks gorge it's like this white iridescent color that is it you guys this is the final look using the glisten pride collection from Morphe 2020 just as a little rundown to be honest like my favorite thing is probably the setting mist this is my favorite i actually used five out of the six brushes this one's like a tiny little liner brush these aren't my preferred liner brushes you guys um but i'm sure it's pretty good if you use that obviously with the whole eye look i just use the brush kit so you can do a whole eye look with the brushes that's included in the collection love it these are great um, super love the white handles with the rainbow furrow as well. The eyeshadow palette, um, yeah, this one is super fun. It's like not my favorite, you know what I mean? Like I've got plenty of other Morphe eyeshadow palettes that I really, really love and this isn't one of my favorites from them, but, um, but you know, it's pride, you know? Add a bit of color, add a little bit of glitter in your life. Really, really, you know, really fun and obviously like the proceeds go to a really good cause so I am all up for that so I will leave all the links below you guys so that you can check out the collection if you want to buy some bits or if you want to buy the whole thing okay guys just as a little side note I want to show you guys my new nails clickety clack 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 so these are actually press-ons you guys so guys I want you guys to check out this new business called by just nail design and I'm gonna leave a link down below because she has made me these custom nails these nails are so so pretty and she made them in like one of my favorite colors as well in baby pink and this is just honestly just amazing you can buy standard nails and you can also get custom nail designs you can get application kits from the website as well so um they're all done by jess i've seen some of jess's like artwork and everything and she's so creative and you're in very very good hands if you um purchase from her they're really really um affordable and reasonably priced products as well so make sure to check them out Ooh, do you know what? It feels good to be clickety clack 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 with my nails again. So that is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video and until I see you guys on my next video, please comment, like and subscribe. Share the video if you want to. Come tweet me. Come talk to me on Instagram. You know the deal. Bye guys. Happy Pride.